Hi everyone, this is Tammy here. Welcome back to another ranking video. Today I'm going to be ranking all of the power-ups appearing in the new Super Mario Bros. franchise. So there is 16 of them, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine two of the power-ups, that being the um, you know regular mushroom and the one-up mushroom into one ranking. But here are all the power-ups here, beginning with the regular mushroom and ending with the one-up. I'm going to judge these based off the usage in the games, the creativity. So... To quote Mario himself, let's go. So actually, I'm going to start here from the bottom and work our way up. So I'm going to group the regular mushroom and the 1-Up mushroom because I think they're both very similar. They're both mushrooms. They're very common pops in Mario games, but I think they do their job. I want to put them here at number 9. Okay, next up we have the penguin suit. In my opinion, one of my favorite pops in Mario. First of all, the design is so cute. Like the way the penguin looks, it's perfect. It does a lot of things. You can slide on water, you can swim, throw ice balls. So it does a lot and it appears very often. I think it's such a unique power-up and I think that a lot of times Nintendo really hits on the animal themed power-ups. So Penguin Suit is probably going to go, I'll say, number two. Next up we have the Blue Turtle Shell first appearing in the Super Mario Bros. DS. A lot of people love this power-up. For me, I don't know if I can say the same. I think it's a cool idea. Mario turns into a Koopa, Chupa himself, sort of. And it's a neat concept. I just wish it was implemented a bit more. You can slide on water like the penguin suit, but besides that, it doesn't do a whole lot of other things. I'm gonna play number 10. We then have the crown appearing in New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. I didn't really get this at all. I know it's kind of been memed upon, but I'm playing at number 13. We have the P Acorn. Now, for me, I'm gonna put the P Acorn and then this. The yellow and white Tanuki leaf at 14 and 15 at the very bottom, just because I think sometimes these cheap power ups we can skip levels. It's just not really that fun. And I think if they were to have them, make the designs way cooler. They just kind of look okay, in my opinion. So they're going to go at the bottom. Okay, now we have the acorn suit. For me, I think this is number four or three. I love the idea that you can glide. I think it's a really great way because a lot of Mario Pals, such as the cape, feather, the propeller mushroom, um, it's very, you know, vertical, you know, flying. The, uh, the squirrel mushroom, the flying squirrel is more of a horizontal flying movement. So I really like that take. Uh, it first appeared in New Super Mario Bros. U. I like the design. It's overall a lot of fun. So it goes at four. I have the Propel Mushroom at 1. Um, I love it. I love the design of it. The orange, it's a different take from Mario Power because most of them, as you can see, we have, well, a lot of blues. You know, we have some reds. So I like the idea of the orange and kind of like this light yellow. It just looks really good. It's vertical flying, but it's done very neatly the way you can just go, woo, and then drill down. It's a lot of fun. I think it's used really well. And sometimes flying power-ups get a bit too overpowered, but I really don't feel that way with this one. So I'm going to have it at number one. Now, we have the Flying Leaf. Now, this appeared in New Super Mario Bros. 2. I think it's not as great as it was in Super Mario Bros. 3 when it first appeared. Very similar, but a bit different. It's still a fun power-up. I'm going to have it at number 5. If this was the Super Mario Bros. 3 version, I will probably have it top 2, maybe even 1. But I think they almost kind of made it a bit too easy to fly. One of the things I liked in Super Mario Bros. 3 was you have you had to build up that extension. And you had to really go and build up that flight meter. It's a lot easier in New Super Mario Bros. 2. So that challenge is taken away, and I think that's kind of my biggest issue with that game. It's way too easy. You know, that's something people say, oh, the new Super Mario Bros. games are way too easy. I played all four of them really in kind of a year or two span of each other, and I found two to be way easier. Anyways, it's going to go at number five. The Gold Flower. I think Gold Flower is cool. You know, in concept, it is a Gold Flower. You can just throw gold balls instead of fireballs or ice balls. Like, it's a cool idea. I just wish it was used a bit more. I'm trying to think if I want this at 8 or 11. I'm going to have it at 8. The reason is because I'm really glad they did something with the, you know, coin idea for New Super Mario Bros. 2. And I think it's a neat design. So I'll have it there. 
the ice flower. I'm gonna go for number three for this, which this might shock some people and be like, whoa, really? Yes, it is. Um, First of all, I love the way it plays, very much like the flower flower, but ice. And this was the first time we had the ice flower in 2D Mario. We had it in Mario Galaxy, but that was 3D. So here you have 2D, the way it freezes enemies. They did a lot of cool gameplay things where you have to freeze an enemy and like throw them to get a star coin. Really great stuff. Um, yeah, I, I just really like the Ice Flower, and it's in all the new Super Mario, I think it's only in Wii and U, actually, I don't know why it's not in 2. Okay, so we have 11, 12, 6, and 7 left for spots. Um, I'm gonna go with the Fire Flower at 6, you know, it's a Fire Flower, great power fill, a lot of fun. Um, then we have the Invincibility Star. Honestly, I kind of wish we did a bit more of the Invincibility Star here in the... New Super Mario Bros. games, honestly. It, it, it's just, you're invincible, I get it, but I think they could have done a bit more with it. Um, it's still cool it is, though. I'll probably have it 11. Then we have the Mega Mushroom and Mini Mushroom to end us off. I'm going to go with the Mega Mushroom at 12 and the Mini Mushroom at 7. Now, I do want to explain why I have these here. So, Mega Mushroom was a big deal for New Super Mario Bros. DS. I mean, it's even on the cover. But I just feel like it's like an invincibility star. You don't take any damage and kill everything. Could have done a lot more with it. The mini mushroom, though, they do a lot more things. You can run on water or run up walls, but one hit and you lose a life. So I kind of like that mechanic. But I think that's everything ranked, yeah. I'm trying to see if I would change any of this. I don't think I would. Yeah, overall, I, I really like this, everyone. And that is my ranking for all the new Super Mario Bros. Series pops. Let me know your ranking in the comments below. And until then, take care and have a good one, everyone.